Greetings, peeps. It's time to say goodbye to an old friend. Our sportsman's Jenny. It just keeps smoking. It'll go away for a while, it'll start smoking again. I have the oil level correct. It just keeps smoking. Now that's under no load. Let's go ahead and turn the air conditioner on and show you what happens. Now she's really smoking. But this is what I've been dealing with the last couple days here. Where it's been 90 plus degrees and I have to run this thing 8, 12 hours a day. As you know, she's getting louder and louder as she ages. She's got, as of today, about 850 hours on her. I just changed the oil uh, 30, 40 hours ago, right before I came up here. And yeah, I put that many hours on in the last couple days because the weather here has been crazy. It's been over 100. I'm up at 6,000 feet here in uh, Camp Verde, Arizona. But the weather still gets to the upper 90s every day. So what I end up doing is running the generator to run the air conditioner. Uh, yesterday was 11 and a half hours, day before that was eight hours. Ran a little bit more yesterday because Heidi was here and I'm trying to keep the van cool. You got two people in there, it got pretty hot. See, I got the Jackery 60 watt panel out here and it does a great job of topping up my Jackery 240 by noon. And then I have power to run the lights under the hood all night long. So I run the lights all night, like eight to 10 hours. And I've got about 50% of the battery left. This will just top it back up again. As you can see, she's still smoking. It will go away eventually. I've been using some uh, carb choke cleaner to start it up when it vapor locks. That's been the other issue. It's vapor locked a few times. I am running ethanol free but the first tank I had in there had regular uh, 87 octane in it. So I think I, I mixed the gas, it had ethanol in it. Ever since I put the, just the ethanol free in with about an ounce of MMO for every tank, it hasn't stopped. It'll keep running, even though it's smoking, it usually won't stall out. It still stalls out once in a while, like maybe once a day I'll have to come out and spray some uh, carb cleaner in there and start it back up. But for the most part, it's been running okay, like you want to call that okay. <laughs> so let me tell you the good news. Oh, and look at what we have here. I have a, a new uh, solar panel. That's right. New solar panel replaced the broken ones. I had two broken ones. I donated them to Heidi so that she could play with them. She's going to do some coatings and see if uh, she can bring them back to life or not. But I got Brand new panel right here. That's my old panel up there, it's a two year old one. And this is a compact panel. And that sucker's gonna go up on the roof this weekend. The good news is my warranty for the Sportsman generator is up in a week. Technically two weeks, because I accepted delivery on it at the end of Ju uh, June last year. But I ordered it like a week from today. Uh, it's like June 18th or something like that. So I think they honor the warranty up to the time you accept it at Home Depot. So I contacted Buffalo Tools, which is the company that makes the Sportsman generator. They gladly uh, are gonna pay for shipping back to the factory and they're going to fix it for me and send it back to me for free. And that's with only a week or two of the warranty left and a lot of hours on it. So when it comes back, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I'm not gonna use it anymore. Uh, I think I'm going to give it away. I think I'm gonna give it away in a contest on Hobotech. So stay tuned for that. When it comes back in the mail, it's gonna take several weeks. Uh, I'll probably just do like a giveaway. That seems like the best, best way to give it a new home. Uh, it'll be, it should be running fine and repaired, whatever's wrong with it, probably bad rings. So what am I gonna do for a generator? Well, I decided to upgrade. Since the Sportsman only gives you a one year warranty, I wanted to go with a company that had a much better warranty. So I am getting what I recommend for the last year. I've been recommending people get the Westinghouse generators, the iGens. So I'm gonna get a Westinghouse iGen 1200. It's gonna be more powerful than the Sportsman. It's right now, it's not on sale or anything. Regular price is 379. 
and I don't have a problem with that price because it has a three-year warranty. And I paid $160 or $170 for my Sportsman. It lasted me one year before I pretty much disintegrated. So the way I see it, even though the Westinghouse costs twice as much, it's a better deal. So even if I have problems with the Westinghouse, I can return it within three years and get a, a rebuilt one or get it fixed or whatever. And to me, that's worth the, the little bit of extra money. Plus, it's more powerful. I want something that I could run my Instant Pot on. I can't run my Instant Pot on, on the Sportsman. So I wanna be able to fire it up, plug it in, run my Instant Pot for like two hours if I need to make a pot roast and not wreck my batteries. Now that comes to the next reason why I'm getting a new generator. I'm, go I'm gonna do the Battleborn Lithium upgrade. I'm gonna install two Battleborn batteries in the van, replacing my three AGMs. And the lithium batteries charge much faster. And that's a problem for my little sportsman that can barely put out 500 watts. Five or 600 watts is the most I've ever gotten out of that thing. So up here at altitude, the sportsman can barely run the air conditioner. We're talking it can do 450 to 500 watts. It's really running hard to keep the air conditioner going. And so since it's so important for me to have the air conditioner this summer, I decided let's get a better generator that won't have to run as hard. It'll run at a lower RPM. It'll probably get better fuel efficiency that way. And it has a gas tank that's like twice the size. So I'll be able to literally run it all day without having to come out and fill it up. Like I had to fill this thing up like twice yesterday, uh, which means the air conditioner shuts down. I gotta wait for the air conditioner to cool down for five minutes. You know, while I come out here and put gas and MMO in, then you know, go through the whole startup process again. And having to do that a couple times a day really gets frustrating when you're trying to get some work done. And the fact that the Sportsman really runs out of guts up here at 6,000 feet, where I'm probably gonna be spending a lot of my time this summer, I said, let's just go ahead and get the Westinghouse. It's more money, but it's a more powerful generator, but it's a more powerful generator with a better warranty. So let's just go for it. And when it comes in, I'll do a full review on it. Uh, I'll do the break-in. I'll show you guys everything there is to know about it, and we'll do some tests. It should make for a really good video. But yeah, it's time to retire the Sportsman and give it to a new home. It's, it's done me well for the last year. That actually has provided almost all my power needs. Not quite all. You can see now, the smoking has stopped. And it is running the air conditioner right now on economy mode. But give it a couple hours, it'll randomly start smoking again. It's, it's so weird, it's, just, it's random. And I mean, it'll run four or five, six hours, no problem. And then all of a sudden it'll start smoking and coughing and sputtering. And I clean the spark plug, I clean the filters. It's, it, I'm running synthetic oil in it. You guys know how much I've been trying to baby this thing to keep it going. And I realized that my warranty was up, coming up and it was time to just get it in for repair and get a free repair and then give it to a new home. It just seems like the best thing to do, so. Well, that's all I want to report on for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. And remember, if you want to be in the know about stuff like this, projects I'm doing, be sure to join our Patreon. People on Patreon get to find out about all the stuff I'm doing in a lot more real time than you guys do on YouTube. They knew about the generator several days ago. You're just finding out now. So if you want to be privy to all the latest Hobo Tech news and gadgets and what I'm up to and where I'm at, be sure to join our Patreon community. Thanks. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Brando Fear 9, Army Golf Guy, Joe Lazaro, Pat.